everybody, happy Sunday. I got an interesting video for you guys today. I'm going to be talking about the new Bath & Body Works Pocket Bag Collection for 2020, the spring collection, and I'm talking about price increases. So, I actually have some interesting information for you guys. So, yesterday what happened was, like everybody else, I walked into Bath & Body Works yesterday, and I buy all my cool stuff. I got my $5, um find fragrance mist and I go up to the counter and we've got a ton of pocket bags like the racks the big racks all the scents I saw some cool ones that I wanted to get some new ones including check it out this is the feline good cherry and the totally jawsome wave break so I picked up five because I'm thinking oh they're five for seven and then I had my 10 off 30 coupon I get up to check out and the salesperson was like, oh no, she's like, these are $1.95 now, they're not five for seven. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, what the heck? When did that happen? So I ended up, I got two because I needed to get to $30 to get my 10 off because I had some returns and everything. And then I came home and I was like, I can't believe the hand sanitizers have gone up. And I was like, you know me, I collect these, all of us do. Um... So I was kind of bummed out. So after I was bummed out for a couple of hours, I decided to actually dive into this and do the math a little bit more. So we were paying, we, we, like, I think it was like last summer. I don't know when the, they went up to five for seven. I can't even remember the exact date, but we were paying, um, we got five for six dollars, which comes out to a dollar twenty per unit. And then we would get like our twenty percent off if we had a coupon, which brought it down usually like under a dollar. So then they went up to five for seven dollars, which brought the cost per unit up to a dollar forty. And we get our twenty percent off and we were all happy. So now with the new pricing structure. One of these is a dollar ninety-five retail price on the back of the product. If we have a twenty percent off coupon, we're going to get these for a dollar fifty-six, which is still more than we were paying for the five for seven. Unfortunately, it's fourteen cents more. Um, if we buy five of them like we used to, the price has gone up from seven dollars to nine seventy-five, which is a pretty steep increase. It's two seventy-five. If we have a twenty percent off coupon, though, we'll get them for seven eighty, which comes out to still kind of pricey. Um, if, however, <laughs> you buy in bulk and you buy sixteen of these, sixteen for thirty-one twenty, and then you have a 10 off 20 coupon, you're going to get these for $1.32 a unit, which is actually the best deal. Not that anybody really buys 16 at a time. I know I don't. So that's kind of the bad news. However, I was really curious. So I actually went online at Target to find out how much theirs were. So they've got like their Up and Up brand, which is just their like generic brand. Um, these are actually a one ounce size. They're two ounce size is 65 cents, but I don't like them. I just like, they're ugly, and I just, I don't like them. Um, they have another brand called, I think it's called More Than Magic. I, it, it's hard to tell the brand. They are actually one ounce for $1.99, so they are more than Bath & Body Works. They're really cute, too. They have, like, lemon, and they have unicorns on them. So it's like, if you just want the basic hand sanitizer... You're going to pay 65 cents. If you want something that's cute and smells amazing, they are pretty much in line. Most of the stores, you're going to pay between like $1.75 and $1.99 each. Um, I also went on Mayer's. I was actually at Mayer's this morning. <laughs> I went grocery shopping this morning. Purell for the two ounce. I don't like Purell though. It's $1.75. So pretty much in line with what we're paying for these and it's funny because Purell, I just read an article that was posted four days ago that said the FDA warned Purell to stop making unproven claims about the ability to protect against Ebola, MRSA, and the flu. So I know Purell's like, oh my gosh, it kills everything. I have no idea if these claims are correct or anything. My theory is that 
these are good for when I'm traveling, like in the car, like today. I went to the grocery store, and I literally, I mean, we're talking like this much, <laughs> and I just doused my hands in this. Literally, every time I left the store, this smells really good, by the way, it's cherry, um, because I'm actually more worried now. We have like a surge in flu A right now, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm such a germaphobe anyway. I'm actually more worried about flu A at the moment, <laughs> but... Um, I know a lot of people are concerned, and rightly so, about coronavirus, and I've heard that because of all of what's going on, people are buying hand sanitizers in droves. And that's possible. It's possible that the price was driven up by the coronavirus. I'm not sure about that. I have no idea. Um, but for whatever reason, we are paying more. So what does that mean for us as collectors? So... It was interesting. I was kind of thinking about this. I'm like, okay, I, is this going to stop me from buying hand sanitizers? And I'm thinking it's not. <laughs> because um, usually what I did in the past, and this is an interesting like psychological marketing thing, um, as I was checking out, I would just quickly grab five sanitizers because I'm like, okay, they're five for seven. You know, you just grab five. And a lot of times I was grabbing a duplicate because I wasn't even paying attention. I'm like, oh, I don't think I have that one. Well, yesterday, I made darn sure that I picked up two that I didn't have. These, oops, these are the ones that I actually wanted because I don't have these two. So my thought, uh, my new shopping pattern, unless I have a really darn good coupon or they're going to start doing sales on these, is to just make sure I only pick up the new ones <laughs> as I'm checking out, which might be good because I'll probably spend less in the long run because, ironically, with my 10 off 30... I actually probably only spent, like, less than $3 when I would normally spend 7 on hand sanitizer. So I'm like, did I just, like, actually spend less than I normally would? So, I don't know. It's all, like, marketing and, you know, there's a lot of factors here. So I did want to show you um, the ones in the spring line. I swear I had a strawberry pound cake. I do not have my strawberry pound cake. But we do have warm vanilla sugar, which is awesome, you guys. I love this one, and it's this cute little cupcake one. Um, we have a St. Patrick's Day one with Best of Luck. This is actually a lemon zest. I really like this one. This one is super cute. Um, there is an entire line of these. Where did they go? Um, why do I only have two of these in here? Oh, my gosh. Did I set them out? Oh, here they are. Check out this Cactus Blossom and... Copa Cabana Coconut. These are really pretty. I like these. And you know what? I would much rather spend a dollar more and get this cute little packaging with the awesome scents than spend 65 cents on, like, the Target, you know, one that I just don't like. I don't know. Makes me feel good to have these. Um, they've got some cute little, um, they've got congratulations. This one is Berry Surprise. They've got a set called... Um, I don't know what these are called. It's coconut lemon, ocean citrus. There's a couple in this line. Um, oh, here's another one in that uh, tropical one. Aloha kiwi passion fruit. This one smells really good. Um, what else do we have? Oh, fresh water for men. That is new. They've got a happy birthday one, which is vanilla cupcake. I didn't smell that one. Oh my gosh, that one smells really good. Um, they've got the uh, Freshwater Aloe, Honolulu Sun is back, um, Get Whale Soon, how cute is that, Coconut Water, um, let's see, we've got Stay Magical, this one is Unicorn Petals, what is Unicorn Petals? Petals. I don't know, that one smells pretty good, um, Coconut Colada, is that a new one or did I just throw that one up here, uh, Strawberry Lemonade I have, and then I have white Fiji Sands. So obviously, oh, and I have the uh, You Are Loved Pink Chiffon. I do have that one. I don't have the Strawberry Pound Cake one. I don't know why. But I mean, I'm pretty loaded up for like hand sanitizing for the entire spring. Um, but I collect them. So like I said, it's kind of unfortunate for those of us who like to collect these. Because then you go, you know, how many are we going to get? But like I said, as, as the new holiday ones come out, I know I'm going to get them because I like them. So... Overall, the price increase definitely sucks. It always sucks when prices go up. But 
as I broke it down in my head and figured everything out, I'm like, I'm not overly upset. What I would like to see, if Bath & Body Works is out there listening. <laughs> so here's how, from a marketing standpoint, how I'll do this quick, how I see um, the hand sanitizers. You know how McDonald's does the dollar drinks? Any size is a dollar. I think that's awesome because you know what? I always go to McDonald's. I got one right now to get my drink. My own sweet and iced tea. I always get in the medium because I don't like the plastic cup. I like the paper cup. But every day I go to McDonald's and I get an unsweetened iced tea because it's a dollar. If I go to any other place, it costs me double. And then sometimes I'll get fries. Sometimes I'll get a burger. You know, I, I do buy other stuff <laughs> at McDonald's. Um, but McDonald's knows that they're bringing you in the store because their, their drinks are a dollar. So I'm thinking like it would be really cool if Bath and Body Works had these, as, I think it's called the Lost Leader in Marketing basically, where based, they have a product that they don't make a lot of money on, but that everyone loves to draw people in the store. And I, I really think that the pocket bags would be, now I'm coughing, <coughs> good thing I have my iced tea. Um, I think that would be awesome because you know what? If they made these at 99 cents, they would have people in droves buying these. And of course, if you're in the store, you're going to buy other stuff. You know, I mean, who just goes into Bath and Body Works for a pocket bag? We're all going to be buying more stuff. So I really had to take a coughing break there. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think it's snowing right now and then our, our weather's supposed to get like really warm, like up to 55. Crazy weather, which is why I'm dousing myself in hand sanitizer and using my hand soap because I'm so afraid of getting sick. So anyway, let me know your thoughts about all of this. I'm just curious down below. Um, is it going to stop me from shopping at Bath and Body Works? Absolutely not. Is it a bummer? Yeah, it's a bummer. But who knows? You know what? Never say never. Things change all the time in retail. So we may experience a price break again. So those are my thoughts. And there's the new collection. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.